Revenge, revenge, revenge is gonna be mine. Revenge, revenge, revenge. Ah! <laughs> Will, you're supposed to be ill, mate. I'm quiet. You were dying about two hours ago. <laughs> you are putting the microphone up your nose today. I'm not. How's your hair? Does it hurt? Yes. <laughs> you asked. I did. You're looking small today. What happened? I shrank. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I just shrank. I'm sorry. What, during the night? I shrank. Um, today yeah. I'm shrunk. Yeah. I've got a bit of a, bit of a stomach, Shr shrunk. stomach thing shrunk. going on. Shrunk. As, shrunk. A, as opposed to drunk. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Drink too much alcohol. And you shrink. You, you get smaller. That's what they used to tell us when we were kids. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you're not you supposed to drink that. alcohol, otherwise you wouldn't grow. And it's true, that's why all people in Horna Orashani are so freaking small. What? Alcohol stunts growth. Yeah. Makes you retarded. That's what it does. <laughs> as, as, as well as stunts growth. Yes. That's why. Well, that's why when when mothers when oh, pregnant okay, mothers okay. drink, it's babies okay. don't grow. They have tiny babies. In fact, in the past, fun true? fact, fun fact. <laughs> we haven't we haven't okay. started the podcast yet, but okay. We'll start it then. I don't know. We'll do the fun fact and. Fun fact: In the past, when a woman had a like a narrow pelvis right she was she was slender the doctors would tell her around the eighth month of her pregnancy um or earlier even um to, to start drinking alcohol to make the baby smaller yes so that she doesn't have a problem pushing the baby out because really? they were worried that the babies would be too big for the pelvis and she could die in childbirth because there were no c-sections right oh well they probably were c-sections but they probably weren't very uh um, safe. So, um, yeah, or, uh, it's even in the one of the Hemingway's book. It's the book where they go to Switzerland. What's it called? The 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 the, the woman, the nurse, about the nurse and the soldier. Is it is it, is it the sun also rises, or is it the nothing? Well, the sun that also rises. That's, isn't that where they're oh, was drunk it? in Spain? When they, the Spanish ah, okay. So that this must have been the the, the Western Front. Or the bell, the bell stall. To whom the bell stall? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> You're just um, making it up. One of the Hemingway's books, and I read it. I just don't know if it was if it were the bell tolling or if it was the 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 Western Front. Um, uh, in one of them, that this woman was pregnant, and they went to the doc, and the doctor told her that uh, she should drink brandy. Didn't help. I think she died anyhow. Yeah, I think I think but it she ended was up. Happy. I think it ended up that you know they escaped to Switzerland and, and she died, no, in childbirth, and the, and the soldier ended up by himself. I'm not sure. I haven't read it, so I can't comment on it's it. It's just I've 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 read it like million years ago, so it's somewhere at the back of my head, underneath the layers of Stephen King and other things. <laughs> there we go. Um, we. <laughs> Well, the the podcast listeners will get that little story. Um, fun people, fact. The fun fact. The uh, the people on Facebook. Well, won't. they won't. They'll be spared. Will, do you yeah, need to pee, darling? Will, could you? Um, could you stop shaking and and, shaking and, and doing weird things? And rattling your fingers on the floor. And chattering your teeth. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you could sit down on the sofa and cover up with a blanket. Do you think you could sit down on the sofa and cover up with a blanket rather than sticking your face into the monitor? You're supposed to be ill today, Will. I keep reminding him. <laughs> be ill, G. G. <laughs> what? Hello? Be ill, Will. Jasmine got a nappy on. No. Jazzy, do you need to pee or poo? I can't see. Jazzy, Jazzy. do you Jazzy. want to use the, use the potty, darling? Jazzy, do you need to pee? She's usually 
I'm not gonna say it. Jazzy, can you sit on the beanbag so that your brother and sister can see? She's usually good with going to pee in the pool when she's awake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's not so good with that when she's sleeping, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Feel the need to hold on to something. Yeah. Mm. Right. I don't know how this is going to work today. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out. What is that? What is it? Um, principles. Okay. Principles. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Are they yours? Mic check. Did you write that? Mic check, yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> right. Next question. Um, <coughs> Mic check. Whenever anyone... <laughs> check, check. <laughs> Mine's working. Ridiculous life tip. If anyone ever asks you, did you do that or is that yours? Just go, yeah. Okay. Saves a lot of hassle. <laughs> right. There we go. Uh, almost there. Do, 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 You're do, the do, Batman. Do. What? Today. You're the Batman today. Here we go, if I can find it. Oh, I'm this. boring grey thing. Today. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> <laughs> it's G and boring grey thing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Practical Parenting Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> From Batman. Batman. Ba Batman is my favorite journalist. Right. Uh, there you go. Right. So. Yeah. Oh. Of course, of course you got ATM in the middle. Do you think that's like psychological conditioning? ATM? Yeah. In the middle of Batman. Not only that, but you also have Tamar. Oh, dark. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's so, that, that's, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, you you realize that the word, the Slovak word for dark, is in the middle of the of Batman's name. And if you're watching, <laughs> if you're watching, you get it. If you're listening to the podcast um, stream, you, you you can't see that I'm wearing a Batman T-shirt. You could also day. be a, a ban. A ban. Yeah. Or uh, or, or I could be. I could <laughs> put my hands. I could be a man. Or. <laughs> if I cover up these letters. Or you could have a tan. Uh huh. Or. I could be. <laughs> I could be Bam, just B A M, mm -hmm. which is uh, it's not really anything at all, is it? It's what Batman used to say when it used to used to flash on the screen when Batman hit somebody. Or yeah, you could just turn into a sheep. Welcome to the conversation, Alex. What 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 what, what, what sheep? Sheep. Bah. Yeah. <laughs> I could be Bratislava. Yeah. Bah, because that BA means Bratislava. Yeah. yeah anything else? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's it. We've we've done it. No. We've we've, no. we've 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 uncovered done, we've done every, all of them. <laughs> every single linguistic <laughs> possibility from the from the, uh, the the word Batman. Now take it off and turn it inside out and see what we can <laughs> do with it. <laughs> 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 no, because that no. Just no. They say it back to front, right? Look, at least my T-shirt is interesting. What have you got? I've got the boring grey thing. Grey nothing. Yeah. Grey. That's my boring grey thing. You were something more more interesting and, and eye-catching for people online, no? I don't have anything eye-catching. I'm not an eye-catching person. Alex says, what up? I love, love the Americanisms. Yeah, the way that they flip the language around and don't care about any grammatical forms whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. What up? What up? What up? <laughs> what is he talking about? What's up? Where? Where did it go? It's up there somewhere. I don't know what he's talking about. Lock him up. Right. Yeah, Americans are just chilled. Chilled? Chilled in language. And loud. Yeah. And loud. You don't notice how Americans, like the Americans fit in very well in Slovakia because neither understand the meaning subtle. <laughs> neither, neither group understands. Yeah, but uh, Amer Americans s actually, there was a scientific study. Well, it was a scientific study with probably lie. statistics. Lie. Right? You're just making um, this up now, aren't you? That I'm not making it up somewhere. Do I have to trust? That you? actually proved. You have to trust me. That actually proved that 
that Americans smile more than any other nation. They just walk around. Americans with smile the more. Um, with the American maybe they're just showing their teeth. Thing. Maybe people misinterpret it. No, no, you can, you can, you can even spot Americans. You know, if you like walk in a place with tourists. Well, because they're the loud ones. You can see which one's American. You don't need to see them. You can hear them a mile away. You get on a train. Like you know in the summer in Bistrita, instantly. you've got lots of tourists, right? And you can tell the Japanese because obviously they're the small ones with the cameras. And you no, the can mobile phones now. Oh. They're just walking around with their mobile phones. The mobile phones, okay. They, don't, they, don't carry they, they cameras look at anymore. the world through the mobile phones. And uh, On the selfie sticks. <laughs> I don't know about that. But I, uh, <laughs> the Americans, what? they have... Uh, the Americans have these bright colored shorts and backpacks and are very smiley and very loud uh, I, are, are they or they have or they have like like um, like Amer noticed. american um what do you call them um pensioners Pe old people <laughs> the aged yes. the aged ones that, that just come well, for a holiday the ones, ones with white hair like me. yeah they're gonna have these matching, these matching uh, outfits, like like the same bright colored pattern on the shorts and the same bright colored pattern mm -hmm. on the t-shirt. Mm -hmm. It's pretty funny. Okay, I have to do something right now. Completely different. Yeah, Will, well. can you relax a little bit? He's moved. We moved him over there. Yeah, Will, move Will, back. Will, please. 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 Please, not onto your sister. Oh gosh. Don't sit it's on jazz. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> <laughs> doing it the hard way, right? Yeah. Doing it the hard way. Well, he's ill, so take Will and du and double it, right? What Will Will? He's like Will squared. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> well, you know how sometimes it's like out out. You know squaring. <laughs> out of you, his know, mind. you know squaring something doesn't mean doubling. <laughs> I know. You know that. Right? <laughs> I do know that actually. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like uh, he's he's very unfocused usually, and then mm. very um, like. You know what's going on. Then when he's ill, he's like twice that. So, ah! so he forgets. Major panic there. He forgets that he forgot that he was sitting on the sofa, and was supposed to sit on the sofa. Well, he doesn't remember anything for more than ten seconds anyway. Well, it's five now. Unless it's connected to Star Wars or how to. Find your dragon, hide your dragon. Train your dragon. Train your dragon. <laughs> that was it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's not true. He remembers a lot from the history. He remembers a lot of fun facts. Fun facts. Yes. And uh, yesterday we taught, we learned about sleep, and he remembered a lot about sleep. I studied that a bit yesterday as well. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we were we were studying it. We found this great YouTube channel called sleep. Science Something. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but well, I will that's pop really the useful I will the pop the link. I will, po I will pop the link in the in the comments, okay? Because I have pop. it open on my desktop, and <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. That, that, that it was done by this woman, and she has a little puppet kind of thing as well. That's, that's the speak. worst description of any program I've ever heard. And it explains it scientific explain facts. It answers questions, basically. There's um, a woman with a puppet that answers, that answers questions. scientific questions for kids, but it's done really well. It's a little Sounds bit... Sounds like the Muppet Show. It's a little bit like Crash Course for Kids, okay? You know, she talks very fast and, and uh, she has I, nice graphics. And I don't like that element of crash course where it it it's like oh yeah it gives you everything really quickly and then sort of doesn't give you any depth or substance to the oh, topic sometimes I like it does. sometimes it i f i found in crash course it explores topics from different points of view sometimes you know not not the usual thing but they give you a little bit extra you know well what i do like about crash courses they do interviews in is that a word? I don't, they, I don't know. I trust, let's try again. What I, I do <coughs> rewind. What I do like about Crash Course yeah. is that they do introduce controversial ideas yes. uh, in a in 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 a f joking way, but they put it out there. Yeah, and and uh, you know that they put out in interesting ideas that make you think about things. Like they were talking about. So I was watching the Crash Course history, right? Mm -hmm. 
and they were talking about some kind of historical period, uh, probably the, the, the Greeks or whatever, and, and they introduced the idea that, you know, that history is actually written by the winners and that what we learn in the mainstream history is not exactly what it was like. And then they told you the story, what it was really like, you know, it's, they put that element into it. They don't just, they don't just give you the basic info that you can Google anywhere. They make it interesting. So I beg to differ, in my opinion, and, and do fresh courses. They're not just, you know, on the surface. Sometimes they do go a bit deeper. Super cool. Bah. Good. Good. Humbug. It, it's great that they do that. And um, you can't say bah humbug yet. It's, it's not, not Christmas yet. It's not mm -hmm. December. Although, although... <laughs> it's snowing all day today. It's Christmas in my <laughs> head because it's starting to slow, snow today. Slow. <laughs> it's starting to slow. Snow? Yes. It's like a song. Snow. It's Christmas in my head. It because started it to <laughs> snow. <laughs> oh, the carrot. What about it? It, it fell off. What? Yes, I, I checked it a couple of minutes ago. I went to say something. The carrot fell off. The carrot fell off. How's yeah. that possible? I rammed it in like half the way and, and then I stuffed it with snow. I don't know, but it was it was bags. half falling off. By the time you got up here after building the snowman earlier. Yeah. Like, yeah. By the time you got up here and I went out on the balcony to check mm. it, I was like, that carrot's going to fall. And then I just checked it a couple of minutes ago before we started. And, um, and the carrot had fallen. And one of the arms had fallen off as well. Is the hat still on? The hat is still on, but okay. it's... Um, it's well, we'll less one arm and one carrot nose. Well, we'll be leaving here so soon after we've, we're finished this thing that we're doing now. We'll be going out with Zora for the swimming lesson and we'll fix it very quickly. Yes? Mm -hmm. If it's still there, if someone hasn't come and eaten the carrot. In the hand. And chewed off the arms. Yeah. And there we go. Reindeer or something. It was a very, it was very um, happy looking snowman. He was very happy. Yeah. His name was Olaf. <laughs> it's a very original name for snowman. Oh, laugh. Mhm. Mm <laughs> mhm. Mm <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Apparently, there is a new twenty-minute Olaf mini Pixar cartoon film. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I was uh, somewhere out there. hunting around the internet for it. Uh, trying, Did you catch trying, it? Trying to ferret it out. Did you catch it? No, I didn't actually. I found a lot of fake sites uh -huh. saying they had it, but it wasn't there. The, um, you have to be really careful about what you, what sites you visit and what you pick. So and how choose. do these fake uh, sites um, make money? Do they like put advertisements on whoa, them? Whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down, slow down. Yeah. The massive assumption at the beginning there. Okay. That they make money. Yeah. They, they but what would they exist for? Fake sites. Well, companies, big companies put them up mm -hmm. to stop people trafficking in their software and, and digital materials. What? They're, they're not run by small independent people. They're, they're run by big companies. What are they for again? Because I didn't understand a word that you said. It was like speaking Hungarian. What are they for? Well, yeah. You just told me your very first sentence was about what they, what they were for. No. I'm asking, what what did you just say? Can you repeat what you just said, that, that w why they exist if they don't make money? Because they are set up by the companies that have all the money already. They're not set up to make money. They're set up to stop other people trafficking in their digital materials. Trafficking in their digital materials. What does that mean? In where? What kind oh. of digital materials? Uh, books, films. Trafficking in. What does that mean? Selling. You've heard of drug trafficking. They're selling drugs. You've heard of human trafficking. They're selling people. So they make... So... Wait a minute. So I make, okay, a, okay. I make a, an Olaf video that I'm, that I'm selling, right? And I put up all these fake sites saying that they have it so that people go there and find out it's not there and get discouraged? Or how does it work? I don't understand. What are you trying to tell me? How does that, how does that help anything? Help my poor brain. I have no idea what you're saying. Well, it stops 
people trafficking the material because they can't find it because there's so much SHIT on the NET that they can't actually find what they're looking for. Oh, so they so they fill the internet yeah. with rubbish so yes. that people get lost. Yes. Okay. And okay. fake sites. Okay. I mean, I reckon, like from my observations today and my searches on the internet, half of the half of the sites I visited were fake sites, mm-hmm. saying that they existed for something and clever, clever copies, mm-hmm. clever copies of real sites. Mm-hmm. It looks. Almost, it's like to, 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 to the average person, to 99% of people, it would look like an original site. Mm-hmm. Well, this is an original site. Mm-hmm. So but these but, big com- but when, you, when you break it down, when, when, you, when, you, when you know what you're looking at, mm-hmm. it's like fake, okay? <laughs> you, 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 wow. you pick it up straight away. And so they, they, they look absolutely identical. And maybe it's only one symbol or one word or one part little graphic on the page that's not in the right so place. So how did you find out that? Whichever site you looked at today was fake. Give me an example. Well, that I just told you. <laughs> just but I what? Just told but you. can you be more particular? Like what symbol? What kind of symbol? Or what kind of word? Uh, search box was was in a different place. Ah, okay. Should have been up there, and it was just under. It was just under the line. Okay. It was in a different place. Uh, the um, the web address was questionable yeah um the uh, the reaction time of elements on the page was questionable um the results of searches on the page were questionable questionable (laughs) meaning meaning that that they they were being manipulated okay um like you'd search for one thing and something else would appear Uh uh-huh um, and then you'd search for something obvious, mm-hmm. like there's a way to test it. Okay, mm-hmm. search for something that you know exists. Mm-hmm. It's a good way to test and the sh- website. And should be there. Yeah, yeah. So, so search for you know, start with what you know, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Don't don't like dive into the digital network world like without grounding yourself first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So start with what you know. You know, you go to a place and you search for information that you know already exists, and you see what it says about it. Mm-hmm. And then when you start to search for information that you know already exists and it says it doesn't, it's like, whoa. Okay. Okay. It's like um, that new feature on Google, the uh, fact check, mm-hmm. which is a political organization that Google have employed mm-hmm. to tell you <laughs> that one political view is right and the other political view is wrong. Oh, it's a propaganda agency. It's 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 absolutely terrible now. Mm-hmm. In fact, some of the um, leaders in in internet development have made statements recently. It was one mm-hmm. I was reading this morning. I can't remember who it was, but um, yeah. he said that you know the biggest threat to global peace and safety is the uh, is is the internet data media manipulators mm-hmm. because people are not getting. The truth. Either the truth or anything that's fair and balanced because mm-hmm. because they're not giving people the opportunity to decide for themselves. And if you don't give people the opportunity to decide for themselves, then they never develop the skills. This is like with kids, right? They never they never develop the skills to discern what is good and what is bad if they don't have to make the choice between good and bad. Mm-hmm. And so these organizations are stepping in with special filters. Yeah. And uh, like uh, Facebook now has a special filter to let you know if people have Russian friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Seriously? Crazy. Yeah. Are you, well, They're paranoid. Like how? Well, look, what? look, I, I told you what happened on the internet. I told you what happened. Is it going is it, is it to come out like in a, in a red frame? <laughs> warning, warning. With a, with a gonna hammer and on, sickle. It's going to flash on my monitor going, eh, eh, eh. Well, well, <laughs> Facebook has started blocking links to Russian ch- chat. What, what is Facebook? Facebook what, what, do you, what do you call that kind of site? Come on, help me out. Facebook is, is a social media site. Yeah. Media so site. Facebook is blocking okay. links to Russian social media sites Yeah. already. They have, yeah. that, they have that one big one, whatever it's called. Uh, so th- there's that. And it's also now letting... And I, I told you what, when I 
joined those uh, American online universities, right? People wouldn't interact with me because they saw that I was living in a place which was near the Ukraine and Russia and they thought that, that I was not a real person. Yeah? Yes. Really. Seriously? Yes, they were, they, were, and, and they, were, they were advised by other people not to interact with me because, you know, how is this possible that somebody from this part of the world would know what is going on in that part of the world? Oh, you freaking spy. How did they find out? I mean, how, how, no, how did you find out? If they were How advised I, not to Because they told with me, you. because, because I, I, okay. I Skype video chatted, I formed a group mm -hmm. and Skype video chatted with, uh, with someone in the group. Mm -hmm. and, and they told and you and that they, they have said been that, uh, they, they said, at first we didn't think you were a real person. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this was on the online university forum. Yeah, because mm -hmm. because we didn't think that anybody from that part I don't know if like they think people here <laughs> because live in we trees thought that Slovakia or was a made up country that didn't yeah. exist. <laughs> yeah, and there was um I saw a couple of posts on the yesterday about comparing average prices of internet, right? Uh and and, and, and download speeds and other elements like mm -hmm. that. And um like America has the highest price and the lo and the lowest quality. <laughs> It is very much possible. Listen, I was talking to um, to a friend from South Africa, which we were supposed to interview, but she uh, got a bit confused with the time change there. Which is not difficult. Um, because. because it's well, not I think we both. Well, I think we both messed it up because I asked her. I asked her if if they've got the same time zone as we did, but I didn't check it yeah. myself. You know. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't so. trust anyone else to tell me what they don't know. <laughs> oh, there you go. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we messed that up a bit. But um, what was my point? Oh, my point was, you know, she was telling me how much the internet costs, and she said that they have it all limited. If she wanted unlimited internet, she said that would cost her a huge amount of money. Like, unaffordable for in her Britain. at all. In, in Britain, it's limited. They data, limit data are limited. Not, the, not just the speed. But also the data, the amount of data she can use. Well, yeah, it's an it's crazy. It's an orange-based system. If you look at the company Orange, mm -hmm. yeah, which is in many parts of the world, mm -hmm. uh, then they, they they function on if you want to share data, you have to pay for it. Yeah. Which which is ridiculous because nobody knows. Everybody needs unlimited internet. Fuck me! It's 2017, almost 2018. I know. Seriously, they, they've they've got these miracle cubes that can store a billion billion watts of watty data stuffy whatever they have it now, right? They've got they've got all of these systems in place, mm -hmm. and it doesn't hurt anybody to 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 offer this service of a single payment. Um, it's good. Un unlimited data sh sharing, maybe perhaps limited speed due to the technology. We all understand that, but <laughs> hell's bells. We live in snowy nowhere, and we have a faster internet than. But you know why? Anyone. You know why? Met. You know why? Because we don't have the greedy monopoly having a monopoly on the internet in Slovakia because we have small independent entrepreneurs who put up the Wi-Fi towers and offer internet connection you know to, to small areas we have it we have uh, providers with really good coverage uh, great speed great prices I mean for, we had we had massive speed in Rastoka right we have great speed uh, yeah, and yeah. We had well, Rastoka really was the village in the hills, and that it's was in the middle of the hills. That was faster you than couldn't the cities in Britain. I couldn't get to the city in any other way than going on a bus and then getting on a train, right? I mean, <laughs> there wasn't even a there wasn't even a direct connection to the city, right, uh, or town or whatever. That's good, that's called good planning. <laughs> it was like middle of nowhere and we had great connection fast speed and a great price we paid 10 euros per month for the internet 
with unlimited data and at a great only, speed. I forgot it was only 10 euros a month. That's like, that's like one euro every three days. Yeah, and it was a small company with one little tower somewhere in the middle, right? Sometimes sometimes the internet's gone off because if it snowed a lot or if there was a strong wind, they sometimes lost the, the electricity connection or whatever. You know, Sometimes there were problems, so it wasn't 100% reliable. But they covered, like, what, 10 villages? And... That was Small about it. private entrepreneurship businesses yes. are the only Run way that the world is going to progress. Yeah, and, and people weren't greedy probably when who ran it. You know, they offered affordable prices and they made a huge amount of money on it still. Because if you think about it, right, if you think about a village that has 800 houses and each, say, 500 of those houses have, have internet, right, mm-hmm. then... Uh, that's like 500 times 10, right? What's that? 5,000 per village. That's not bad per month, right? You cover 10 villages, you've got 50,000 per month. You cover your expenses, and you still have a nice pocket money left. So, so it's not. It's and and they're allowed to do that, and they can do that because because the huge companies like Sky in Britain didn't monopolize the internet. It's not really Sky that have monopolized it, it's the British government that have monopolized it because British Telecom own everything that's under the ground. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, but they don't own even, what's in even the Even the badgers, air. I imagine. I mean, you could still, you could still, they could still offer Wi-Fi, you know, like they did here. These cables don't go under the ground. What? There are no cables going under the ground. They offer they offer Wi-Fi internet connection in Slovakia. What do you mean there are no cables going under the ground? Where else would they go? What? Oh, you mean internet? Yes, the cables. internet cables. It depends where you live. Like fiber, well, I, I, fiber optic cables go under the ground. I know. I'm talking. Uh, I'm talking in particular about the small providers that offer the Wi-Fi connection. Oh, okay. Okay. I was just they don't. They about. don't have yes. cables. Okay, yes, I get the, it. The independent little yeah. providers. Yeah. They just um, beam out their signal and. And they covered up the holes. They patched up the holes because. What, what holes? <laughs> the holes in the internet connection because all these little villages that you know. I mean, how long would it take to? Freaking TCOM to drag an optical cable to Rostoka, right? And connect three, it to all the houses. Three million light years? Because nobody cares about little villages. Because the big companies connect to the big cities. Because they don't care about their jobs. Slow. Most of the people there. Yeah. Because they get paid whether they achieve their results or not. Yeah. In, in the in the bigger nationalized organizations. So and, no and, the, and the small villages were left without any connection. So they just... Took the opportunity, patched up the holes, made like made made nice money, and it's a win-win situation. Well said. Well said. Yeah. Super cool. Slovakia rules the internet. <laughs> well, it sort of does now, although they're they they've started a slow. Um, ah, uh, what do you? Oh, I can't think of the words today. They they're. St- the amount of data that could be transferred is becoming limited as certain organizations remove certain sites from the internet. So, for example, there were 10 major sites that you could search for uh, files to share, torrent sites, right? Uh-huh. Uh, easily accessible two years ago. Yeah. Of those 10, I think only one is left. Uh-huh. No. Uh, which doesn't work on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. Now, you, as as usual, you expect other things to pop up in their place, but and that was happening at the beginning. But mm-hmm. um, uh, I don't know if they're buying off the companies or if they're threatening them with legal action and shutting them down. I'm not exactly sure what the what's going on. But what's obviously, what's somebody is uh, putting a lot of hard work into making them stop. Yeah, to just step by step by step they're mm-hmm. they're shutting down those those networks and the web 2.0 becoming 3.0 is is taking over by having these these closed social groups. Mm-hmm. Such as F 
B. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and then they're limiting people's communication with each other. So um, there we go. And look at that. We happen to be using that system right now as well. So um, it's good that we can use it. It's great that it exists. But keep it open. Uh, keep it free. Let people decide for themselves what the right thing to do is. And we can all step forward into a bigger, better, brighter, more beautiful future. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Cool. Now, principles to, principles to live by. Principles to live by. Um, this is not really specifically uh, related to childhood and child development and bringing up children, but I think that we can relate it to that. Because Absolutely, because because children learn by observation. Therefore, whatever principles you have, same principles they will have, probably. Okay, because they're obviously they're not like monkeys. They don't just copy whatever they see. They've got their own brains and their own opinions, and and they process the information in their own way. But uh, still, our principles and our moral values have a huge impact on theirs. Good ideas to consider is how I would subtitle this. Things to think about. And I think if you're stimulating thinking, you're going in the right direction. So, um, so here we go. Mm -hmm. I will introduce the topic and uh, maybe you can give me a little bit of feedback about how you think it might relate to okay. uh, parenting, your own personal experience or if it's a good or bad idea in general. Here we go. We start with uh, principle number one. Surrender all feelings of personal self-importance. What, what does that mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? Surrender all personal feelings of, all feelings of personal self-importance. Yeah, the, the, yes. Uh, Basically realize that you you are not important. Don't feed your ego. ego. Well, it's it's self-importance. You, could, you self could say that we all... Self-importance. I'm not... I'm not, I'm not it's well, lingu linguistic barriers here. <laughs> <sighs> okay. You could say that we're all important because we perform certain functions and tasks in life. Yes. Right. We're all important to different people in different places at different times. Yes. But we're not so important that we can't be replaced by someone else who could do the job better than us. Okay. So it's important not to have too many feelings of self-importance. Thinking, I'm the one who's responsible for all of everything that exists and... I can relate it to parenting, absolutely. Um, I can relate it to to um, self-care in parenting because women very often have the feeling of self-importance. Obviously, their role in the family is very important and, and often when they get out of the picture, go to the hospital or something, things stop basically, right? Because they run the daily, the, the, the daily chores, they kind of, keep the machine going, you know, they do the shopping, the cooking, the, the washing, and so on and so on. And, uh, but sometimes uh, we women <laughs> forget <laughs> that we can delegate these chores and we can delegate these tasks and that things can run without us. Actually, we should make sure that they will run without us if anything happens and we have to get out of the picture. So um, I think that the feeling of self-importance sometimes makes us um, do crazy lot of things um, instead of sitting back a bit and try to do a bit more managing rather than, rather than doing everything by ourselves. Does that make any sense? Uh, yeah, it makes perfect sense. You know, I, I, I get the feeling like nobody's going to do this as, as good as I can do it. So I have to do it all by myself. And then not only women get overwhelmed, 
um, but also they don't have enough time for better organization, better management, they don't teach uh, skills to the people around them that they, that they should teach them. Um, and that's it. So yeah, I think doing that in parenting is important, although hard. <laughs> yeah, can't really add anything to that. Super, moving on. And what you will begin to notice is that I think a lot of principles that are important appear to contradict themselves okay. but they don't but they appear okay. to so moving on you have to view yourself as the most important person in the world yes that's a good one as well that also directly um, that also directly is, is directly linked to self-care <laughs> for I'm going to talk about mothers now okay um, sorry man but you can relate it to fathers as well I think okay I'll, I'll just listen <laughs> nod so um, yes in the family you are ve very important and you have to not forget about yourself you have to take care of yourself uh, you should view yourself as the most important person in the world um, for me that means that you should take care of yourself you should educate yourself you should value your own time um, if you consider yourself as the most important person in the world then you will prefer things that are good for you over things that are good for everybody else but you. Is that right? I'm just thinking out loud here. Well, go think of a practical explanation for it. Practical example. Like, uh, okay. S s How would it work in the real world? Because remember, if you can't think of a real world example, it's not important. Okay, I make, I make some kind, I'm, I make uh, an appointment that I don't really want to go to, right? Um, and... and? If I think about myself as the most important person in the world, I would think, okay, this other person is not as important. I'm more important. Therefore, I'm going to go for a meeting with myself rather than this person because, because that is what's the best for me right now. How can you have a meeting with yourself? <laughs> I do that all the time. What? I do that all the time. <laughs> How? <laughs> well, you get a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, I've got one over here. You sit down somewhere comfortably, if that's what you like, okay? As opposed to sitting uncomfortably somewhere. Yes. And you take that cup of coffee, and you just are there with yourself, and you're, co and you're drinking coffee Oh, I, I, I get it. You do nothing. Well, you, can, you don't uh -huh. do nothing. You drink coffee. <laughs> and you and you think about things and you talk to yourself about things in your head um, and you're you know making plans and uh, dreams and just and how does this out? work with keeping yourself accountable to these conversations um, well, if it's just a friendly meeting over a cup of coffee, <laughs> and you don't have to make yourself accountable because it's just a friendly meeting over a cup of coffee, right? You don't take notes while you're meeting a friend and just just talking to them. So, um, yeah. But if it's a if it's a work meeting, <laughs> right? You can you can of course you will bring a notebook to it. So you will sit down at the cup of coffee, and a notebook and a pen. And uh, you'll talk to yourself. Do you have to do this in front of the mirror, or can you? No, no, you don't have to. You can, you can just do it in the kitchen, at the table. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sure. If your um, if your own ideas are not in order, sort of reflecting back to being important or having importance. Okay. If your own ideas are not in order, you can't really perform the tasks you need to perform well as a parent or uh, a teacher or in just uh, doing your job. Yeah, if you, if you if have nothing, I mean, 
you can't give if if you have nothing to give, right? Oh, that's you can debate that one actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's true. Look, if you can't you can't give someone a banana if you don't have a banana. No, right. you can't you can't give <laughs> yeah. someone your energy if you don't have any energy, right? For example, you can't give someone peace if you don't have your own peace of mind. You can't give anyone kindness if you don't have kindness towards yourself. I mean, you can probably, but it's not. Well, you can give people advice, can't you? Right. I mean, you could. Well, let, let me let me give you a, like a you know contradictory statement, which would be. Okay. I don't have a Samsung mobile phone, but I can advise someone uh, which Samsung mobile phone is better. Samsung, 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 whatever it is. But you're right. giving them information that you have. You're not giving them the phone. Yes, you have the but, information but I don't you're giving them the information. Yes, but I don't right? need a large amount of energy to do that. You know, I can still do that and, and sort of be, I could be physically tired, but still do that. Right, so this idea that that you can only give certain things in certain ways, I'm not sure about that. I'm just talking from my experience in parenting because when I I know that when I'm run down, I don't function. Um, I'm I'm not patient. I I'm not kind. I mean, you've you've seen that <laughs> just two days ago. Mm -hmm. um, so. That's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think that uh, it's. I think it's hard to make the right choices sometimes, but still, I think that uh, everybody has something to offer or give, even if you are rejecting the information that someone is offering you. It can still be useful in understanding what to reject and how to reject it so um, um yeah also you know that point sounds all very selfish right <laughs> consider yourself like the most important person in the world um so i would like to add that 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 doesn't mean that we shouldn't consider other people still to be important or uh, that we shouldn't be kind to others that we shouldn't give 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 to others, mm -hmm. uh, that we shouldn't be generous, that we shouldn't be caring, and so on. Yes. To that, yes. Moving yes. on. Become comfortable in your life with paradoxes. Become comfortable with paradoxes. For example? So, for example, the first two ideas that we have discussed. Which okay. are, <laughs> which are basically, you are not that important, important but you're important. But you are <laughs> that important. So there are there are a lot of paradoxes where, yes, you have to focus on this and do this because this is important, but not always, right? It's uh, um, okay. You have to live a healthy lifestyle, eat healthy, but. You know, it's not, it's it's not bad to go out with your friends and have a beer, right? Mm -hmm. And and chill out, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to become comfortable with, with the paradoxes that exist in life. The parent should be a teacher of their children, but they're not the only person who's going to teach their children. Or there should be they they are the teacher of their children, but at the same time they are the uh, the student of the children. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. Well, because you're always a student. Yeah. You, you, the day you stop learning is, you know, the day that they nail your coffin shut. So, um, or at least yes. it should be like that. And people who stop learning are dead already. I don't think right? people can stop learning. Oh, they. they I mean, unless you've got can. some kind of degenerative disease, like right, um, unless you've got Alzheimer's or something, then, then you can stop learning. It just. Just you, you can't even even if I'm sitting in my on my sofa all day watching soap operas, I'm still going to learn some new fun fact from them. <laughs> no, you're not. Your, your brain's going to degenerate into mm, mushy pea salt. No, I'm still learning. Yeah. I'm just learning about fictional world. 
You know, you're oh, still that's learning. Useless. Yes, it is useless, but it's still learning. I'm just trying to point out that person cannot stop themselves from learning. Yes, but the at the same time they have to control the kind of information that's going yes, into their obviously. brain because there's no firewall protecting the brain like there yes. is protecting the, the computers. So um, there should be. <laughs> I think it's imperative that intelligent people understand it's okay to have contradictions at some times to get used to holding opposing ideas or thoughts in your mind you don't have to follow or believe the thought but you could still hold on to it and observe it study and understand it yeah i've, I've never really had a problem with paradoxes so <laughs> Which might suggest that you haven't looked at them closely enough. No, it just suggests that I'm I am uh, not very opinionate. I just I'm very laid back, and when it comes to um, considering information, I'm not very opinionated. Mm -hmm. Why would you not have an opinion? Uh, I don't, don't say that I don't have any opinions ever on anything. Obviously, I have because that's why I'm standing here and and talking, right? <laughs> I'm giving my opinions. Uh, but what I'm trying to say that I take everything with a grain of salt, you know. Uh, when People are arguing and one is saying that Russians are evil and the other is saying that Americans are evil and Russians are great, right? I'm, I'm not going to side with any of them because mm -hmm. I, I'm just going to kind of remove myself a little bit away from the topic and look at it from an objective point of view, right? So mm -hmm. that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, you can, you can be objective like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's so important and that, and that to helps have with an opinion, and that that helps you with paradoxes as well. You know, when I when I see a paradox, I I just think, well, that's a paradox, and that's all. You know, I don't have a problem with it. I don't have to go and solve it for it not to be a paradox. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Yeah. Um, try to understand the sentiment or idea expressed by a person rather than literal or absolute truths that exist. Oh, we've got a problem. Will, you just hurt your sister. Right. Will, can you make sure that she's okay, please? Maybe you should pick her up and give her a cuddle because you hurt her. Maybe I should go and do that. She won't, she won't let him in, interfere. Okay. You know exactly what, Will. Will, you said you were ill earlier, so I want you to go to your bed and lie down, okay? You shouldn't be running around with your sister in this room. There we go. There we go. <coughs> All this stuff going on. In real time. In real time. That's the way it goes. So, um, <laughs> you know, people who talk about planning things with kids, some things you can, some things you can't. <laughs> and that's one of those contradictions. One of those contradictions is that you need to be planned, you need to be organized, but you can't plan everything and you can't organize er er everything. You, 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 you can plan something... Because you can do anything you want to do, but you can't do everything. So you have to prioritize and focus on, on what is important for you, realizing that like the, the, the parent, like the, the, the manager of a team, they can have the best tactics and players and preparation, but it doesn't mean that they're going to win the game because there's an uncertain element that exists and that very much needs to exist for people to to grow and have new experiences in their lives and welcome back welcome back 
You're welcome. Uh, oh, you brought me something. Mm hmm. Brought you a Prezi. Check it out. Brought you some alchemy. <laughs> Original Slovak alchemy. <laughs> otherwise known as Haralki. Otherwise known Apparently, as they export it to apparent, a lot of countries. Apparently. What? Hello? Apparently, they export it to a lot of countries. Yeah, where it's eaten by Slovaks because nobody else knows what it is. Probably. <laughs> right. Or other countries have their version of the wafer biscuit with the caramel thing in the middle. It's not a caramel thing. Sugar? Well, or whatever. I don't know. What's in oh, pe it's peanut like a butter? Cocoa, cocoa nutty thing. This one is cocoa and peanuts. Cocoa nutty. Sorry. I'm just <laughs> do a little dance there. He does that. Cocoa nutty. There we go. It doesn't look good when you do that. Well, I wouldn't expect it to. Where well, would you? I mean, I'm not doing it to look good, right? <laughs> you should do something more manly. <coughs> Coconutty. Is that more, is that better? No. Coconutty. It's that kind of weird sway that you do. That it's a bit. But a weird sway. Weird. Yeah. You know the weird sway that's really weird. What are you talking about? I don't know. Something weird. Okay. I don't know how men dance. I don't know how women dance, so I can't really tell. I don't know how <coughs> Latin people dance. How do they do that thing with their hips where their body goes one way but the hips go the other way? It's like they've got a brain in their hips that <laughs> allows that part of their body to operate differently. <laughs> Maybe they do. <laughs> the hip brain. Yeah. Okay, click. Let's turn on the hip brain. Oh, I got it. Yeah. I don't know how to they do the they hip can, thing. They I have can, no idea. That it's just odd. Great hip mobility. <laughs> <laughs> there should be university research on uh, great Latin American hip mobility. Maybe, maybe they they would be useful for hospitals or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe they. Or people people with hip. Maybe problems. they have more flexible hips. Oh, 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 what about what about belly dancers? I mean, what what about belly dancers? <laughs> have you seen what belly dancers can do with their hips? It's you could crazy. do that. Like a long time ago, but you could do it not, now. Not to the extent where uh, the the belly dancers can do it. It's like their hips like go like like half a meter behind to where they were before. It's <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do they have for me to buy? What do they disconnect from their hips? Yeah, it's like they, it's like they're standing like this, right? And they, they like, what do you mean like this? <laughs> you, there's a pod, there's a non-visual podcast as well going on. You can't say standing. You have to explain and then their hips what's going just, on. Their hips just, just, just You're take off, and they just start moving up and down and round and round. And the person is standing, and their hips are just all over the place. That is not going to make any <laughs> sense to anyone listening to you. Well, anyone who ever saw belly dancing knows what I'm talking about. Well, even the Hawaii. Yeah. Yes, yes. I have some. They're nice and crunchy and peanutty. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would kill for some caramel wafers. You just, uh, you just had wafer. to mention them. This is like caramel wafer. Well, it's... Uh, it's it's not. It's chewy, because though. it doesn't have caramel in it. That's why it's not chewy. And caramel is just sugar, right? Yes. Oh, I could yes, make yeah. my own caramel wafers. Actually, I could make it one of my Christmas Christmas <coughs> things. It's stuck in my throat. <laughs> she hit me. It's a good opportunity. You can't miss it. <coughs> so, tell me, which, um, which medical rule is it that if somebody's got something stuck in their throat, that hitting them on the back is... <laughs> Really yeah, it, it's it's supposed to um, it's supposed to make you um, uh, the thing that's um, in your throat. Someone has just shot throat. at me. How do We're you say? How do you say? Well, the door from your room will be permanently closed now because <laughs> you just tried to shoot me, <laughs> and also. <laughs> You should be in bed. He's a sniper. He said he doesn't want to go to bed because he doesn't feel ill anymore. I want you to relax for the next hour in bed. Then you can get up and do whatever it is you want to do. Is that okay? Good man. <coughs> Jazzy's going to do her thing. Thankfully. What up, yo? So, uh, <coughs> there we go. <laughs> the announcement. 
<coughs> the announcement has been made. Bum, bum, bum. So, what's next? What's next? Oh, yeah, I forgot we were doing this. Right. Um, I don't even know if we answered the last one, but we just move on anyway, just because. because. I'm not sure what was the last one. Okay. Um, it was to focus... The last one was to focus on the ideas a person is trying to present rather than any specific point that, that that might be important to try to help the other person bring out the ideas within their thoughts. Okay, so not 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 to do what I do when we're arguing. And what you do when we're arguing. So. Right? Yeah, well, arguing is doing the opposite of what that suggests that yeah. we should do. Yeah. There we go. Moving on. <coughs> uh, you are the product of your... Uh, you, uh, you are the product of your habits, your friends, and your family. Not singularly of one of those things. So of your are, habits, your friends, and your family. So there are various factors that feed into your life defining the character of who you are. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, people will say, well, you know, you know who you are is, it comes from inside. Let's just accept that automatically. Okay, again, that's another point about life lessons, right? Let's just, let's just not argue about, oh, it's all internal or, or, or all external. Let's just take this idea and run with this idea, yeah? Which is that you are the product of your, your habits, your friends, and your family. Which is uh, yes, well, to a large extent, uh, to to uh, of your of your family to a large extent because because the family is the first thing that forms you when you're when you're little. So, mm -hmm. oh, go and do your thing, and then you can come back and talk in a little bit more depth and detail about about this topic. So. If <laughs> I just luckily, th those there are certain things that we still can't transfer across the internet, such as the the aromas produced by children at certain points in time. There we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, she's super happy. So, um, so so super cool. If you don't like who you are, it's important to. Look at, examine your own personal habits, but also the habits of those around about you. Um, there are certain groups of people that are called enablers. And enablers are people who will not help you or correct you when you do something wrong, but will allow or enable bad habits to continue so that you don't progress in your life so that you just continue to perpetuate the same screw-ups and the same fuck-ups again and again and again. Why does this always happen to me? It happens to me because you're surrounded by a bunch of motherfuckers who don't really care about you, because if they did, they'd make sure that you improved the quality of your life, the quality of your habits, and the, they'd be looking out for you to make sure that these problems that exist don't happen again to make sure that if you make a bad decision at one point in time you learn from that bad decision and don't make it again we all make bad decisions but what we need to do is learn from the bad decision rather than focus on the fact that something went wrong somewhere i think okay chime in with the i think it's very important to find balance in that situation because and, and very hard to find balance in that situation because where does help end uh, and tolerance begins or the other way around you know I mean how much should you how much should you tolerate and when should you try to help the person to to maybe break a habit or you know do something right I think you should tell the person exactly what you think is the right thing whether or not they take your advice is up to them. I mean, that, that's what will define your friendship. You yes. Know, if, um, if someone takes your advice and it's good advice and it works, then, you know, that's a symbol of a good friendship. If somebody doesn't take your advice 
um, that's okay. And if somebody does take your advice and it's the wrong advice, you know, you need to revise the situation. Yeah, but if somebody doesn't take your advice, does that does does that make you an enabler if you don't act on it? You know, if you if I advise my oh, well, friend, I don't understand that statement. Okay, right, I have a back. friend. Uh, Let's imagine, okay, none of my friends smoke anymore because they all have kids, but let's imagine that I have a friend they who smokes. They say okay? they don't smoke, I guarantee you, they, 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 because no one ever really gives well, up smoking. Well, you don't know, you can't guarantee if they, you they, don't they, know They something. run outside every now and then for a cigarette and tell everyone else that they don't smoke. What do you mean nobody ever really gives up smoking? My mother hasn't smoked for, what, what? 20 years well, now? Well, this is one of the rules here. Don't, don't <laughs> pick on one extreme exception. As as defining a rule for things. Yeah, but that's you can't. Gen yeah, but that's you wrong. Can't you, you, you generalize you, people you, like that. You, you can't say I guarantee you something if you don't know anything about it. No, I do know. I would say that in my life, 49 out of every 50, which would be 98 percent of people, don't tell the truth about that. That's the experience of yeah, my life. Yeah, but you don't. You don't know if my life. friend is one of them, so you can't say I guarantee you that's not the truth. You can't guarantee it. Well, I can say that that. Uh, 98% of people that I've met... You can so say that, yes, but you can't say, I guarantee you that's not truth. I guarantee you it's not true. <laughs> I guarantee you. I, I, I put money on it. I, I put a bet on it. I can. I put a bet on it, and, and I bet they lie about it. How are you going to prove that because, they lie about it? Because I've never met a smoker that told the truth. Okay, sweetie. Smoking. I've never met a smoker, either prior smoker or present smoker, who ever told the truth about their smoking. Ever. In my entire life. Never met one. They well, my mother is a smoker who doesn't smoke anymore. Even people, even even is people a who smoker not doesn't sm not smoke finished. anymore. Okay, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because because you 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 ran through the middle of my 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 sentence there. And Look, this point is not important it. anyway. What it is, is important? I was important. trying to make a point when point when you well, interrupted it's not important, me. In the so first you run over my point. And say my point is not important. Well, because That's you interrupted brilliant. me in the first place, G. Because I was trying to make a point and you interrupted me saying, I guarantee you that that's not true, blah, 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 blah. And you went off completely in a different direction to what I wanted to talk about. Okay? Just waving your arms so around. So, you can say sorry for interrupting you in the first place and we can move on. Sorry for... I can't get the words out. <laughs> well, that's shocking. So, uh, my point was, okay, if I had a friend who, who, who was, sm who was smoking, uh, then... And I told them, you know, that smoking is really bad for you and you shouldn't be doing it. And they decide not oh. to take my advice. I'm, I'm making a note. I've got a point. Okay. And they would decide not to take my advice. They would say, okay, thank you very much. I see that you're really concerned about my health. But uh, I decide that I'm going to sm keep smoking. Um, and yeah. I took that as their own decision about their own health, right? And I would say, okay, well then, you know, just suit yourself it's, if it's something that you prefer for yourself. Then would I be, would that make me the enabler of their bad habit? If, or, you know, what, what, sh what should I do not to be the enabler of a bad habit of my person? Or of my person, of my friend? Not have them as a friend. So I should stop having them as a friend. I would say, yeah. okay, well, if you don't stop smoking, I'm going to leave you no that's really aggressive and selfish so how would you what would you do i would say i really respect you as a person with the ideas that you have um i have certain rules in my life about how i want to live my life and one of them is that i don't want my family and my children to be surrounded by people who smoke um this affects our relationship, obviously, I'm very sorry about that. Um, it's new, it's obviously nothing, you know. To it's nothing that you've done bad to me. It's just the way things are. So um, I have to explain that to you like that. Sorry. Okay. Um. I mean, you're like, oh, it has to be cut and aggressive and fuck you, and 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 I'm like, no, no, no. It, it has to be just a clear line. That's. There's something that's delineated, and uh, something that's 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 clear and expressed, so that everybody knows exactly where they stand. Because you have to do that if you want good friendships in life. Okay. Okay. Thank you for. You know, it's like having a relationship with someone, and you know, you, you make you make the point. Okay. Well, well, 
there, there are lines, things I will tolerate and things I won't tolerate, right? And everybody has to have that conversation. Well, that's what I said in the first place. It's hard to it's hard to draw the line. I mean, it's hard to decide what I'm going to tolerate and what I'm not going to no, tolerate. No, 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 because you don't tolerate anything. You just be you. You don't tolerate anything. You don't have to tolerate. But you just said anything. some things you tolerate and some things you don't tolerate. In friendships. Yeah. In in relationships, you shouldn't have to tolerate anything. But friendship is a relationship. I'm talking about personal relationships. Now you're being very picky about that. See, this is another point that's <laughs> here that you can't have any useful I'm topic I'm just or trying to understand what you you're saying. To, if you try to redefine every word differently from how I say it. You meant romantic relationships. Yes. Okay, thank you. I'm just trying yes. to understand what you're talking about, okay? Okay, okay. so, so it, it's, it's important to... To, to express these ideas and it, it's just as important in the business world as it is in the personal world for to have a set of moral standards about who you will work with and who you won't because if you don't have that if you don't have integrity if you don't have you know a credo by which you live in terms of business you end up working with people who are bad for you they will use you they will abuse you they will take things from you they'll take advantage of you because you don't have the basics yeah i get that i understand that but i don't don't agree with the point that you made about you know that you can tolerate things and some things in friendship but you can't tolerate anything in relationship in romantic relationship i don't think that's true because well that's a do it's <laughs> okay i have to say that those things are different things Yes. Therefore, you can have different rules for different things. You can. Yes, you I know go. you can. It's like you can but play baseball and have these <laughs> rules, and you can play football and have these rules. Yeah, I know. I you get it. But I'm, I'm saying that uh, even in romantic relationship, you have things that you have to, that you choose, okay, that you're going to tolerate. Because if there was nothing to be tolerated, then th- it, would be, it would be two people with exactly the same views on everything. And that's not possible. What are you talking about then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm just pr- trying to make the point that you s- you said that you shouldn't have to tolerate anything in romantic relationship that there should be nothing to tolerate. No, I didn't say. What did you say that. then? I said that you should be comfortable with just being who you are. End of story. And if you're comfortable with being who you are, there's no need for this principle of tolerance. It just doesn't come into that. You see, you're automatically assuming that tolerance is an important part of the relationship. And mm-hmm. I'm telling you that if you're comfortable with yourself, tolerance is not even part of the picture. How? Ima- but you're not yeah, living you see, you with see. yourself. You're yeah. living with somebody else who you see, you directly see. influences all your life, everything that happens in your day. You see, it's so impossible from your perspective that you're even shocked that this I don't know, I don't I, I'm just trying to understand what you're saying. I don't understand what you mean. How there's okay, let me explain I elaborate. I, I, elaborate. I've, I've I've explained it in crystal clear detail and I'll explain it again. Okay. It's like me saying it's like you saying, What's a car? And I'm like it's got four wheels and it's like a box on four wheels and it it, it moves along and it carries people and you're like, I don't understand. <laughs> And I'm like, well, okay, explain it to me in a way I'll understand. It's got four wheels and it's like a box on the, and it's, and, and, you know, it's, 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 it's like, what's a, you know, it's like, what's a dog? Well, it's got four legs and it, it's kind of, well, Can you explain it, it to me very quickly? Because I'm going to need to go and help Zora with something. If you are comfortable with who you are and the choices that you've made, then you don't need to be tolerant. Because you don't need to live with something that makes you uncomfortable. It doesn't even appear. It doesn't even appear in the picture. You know, that's like it's like it's like saying, "Do you need this basketball to play football?" Well, no, because football is a different game, and you don't need the basketball. I, I, you, I, I see that you can't process this, but it it is possible and you've probably never had the experience of this on your life that's probably why it's difficult for you to process it i'm trying to it process is, it I'm is just possible trying to find a okay. practical example okay. like a situation right? my friendship with uh, uh little milan who's actually big milan yeah right okay yeah. nobody knows who we're talking about yeah, except I know us, which so one, that's yeah. okay. <laughs> okay the little one who's the big one so my my, my friendship with him mm-hmm. there's there's no 
element of tolerance in our friendship at all. Mm-hmm. He is comfortable with who he is, and I am comfortable with who I am, and we're comfortable sharing time together. There's no element of tolerance in our relationship at all. We don't have to tolerate anything. We don't fuck each other, but... <laughs> no, yeah, 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 I get it. Um... You see? There's no need for tolerance. Okay. 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 okay think I'm, go, I'm going here. to need a bit okay, longer okay, to think okay. about that. Let me, give you, let me give you one more thing to think okay. about. Okay. Imagine you're sitting on the couch over mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. and you're comfortable. Mm-hmm. Well, there's no need for tolerance in there because you're comfortable. You don't have to tolerate anything. Right? Well, I do. To- well, toleration would mean that toleration, tolerance and comfort cannot really coexist because if you're tolerating something it means you're uncomfortable yeah so they're not they can't coexist yes but okay right now i'm tolerating jasmine playing on the piano okay i don't want to stop her because i know she's having fun but i'm not enjoying it right and i'm, this enjoy, I'm enjoying it i want to state that this like, comes I'm enjoying it. this comes from uh just Jazzy living jazz what more could you do this comes from living with a different person in the same living space. There are things that we're not going to agree on, okay? Because right now, I wish that everything was quiet and nice and peaceful, and she wishes that she can sit there and play the piano and have fun, right? We have different opinions on this situation, and but I'm going to tolerate her opinion. I just made a choice to tolerate it, right? That doesn't mean that I'm uncomfortable yeah, yeah. with myself, do you understand? Oh, uh, but you see, I think that I can prove that you're uncomfortable with something. You're not uncomfortable with, no, with yourself, I'm but you're uncomfortable with something. And I'm you're uncomfortable going to have to with do the noise. About this girl who's trying to destroy the table. I have to go and help Sarah. Okay. Just come with me. We'll go and help Sarah. And don't forget to take your ice cream with you, darling. Take the horse. And the horse. The ice cream, of course, is not actually ice cream. It's Two blocks of Lego Duplo fixed <laughs> and the horse is actually a rubber or an eraser as the Americans like to call it because the word has another meaning as 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 you do. Right, as you do. Um you communicate as best you can. So we were talking about I was talking about whether or not comfort and taller. Are you coming back already? That's fast. I just um, was about to launch into a rant there, but uh, it's probably good that you prevented me from doing that. <laughs> I would probably embarrass myself. I don't have another one, Jazzy. What did she? That was the last one. You saw that. The last alchemy. Mm-hmm. The last alchemy. Oh my gosh! No more alchemy. Okay. Yeah, we'll get we'll, we'll get we'll get some later, shall we? Will you? We <laughs> meaning not me. It's, it's it's that it's that special we that you used yesterday in the morning. I do. I do. I always I, I I commonly use we to mean not me. Yeah. But somebody else. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like oh. yesterday. Do you oh. think we could tidy up? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm being cuddled down here. So it's uh and then Come here, Jazzy. There's cables and sharp... Do you want to go up? Sharpie things and... Do you want to come up? It's a unicorn, it's a horse. Do you want to come up? I'm holding the technology together. (coughs) Ah. You got a... Oh, yeah, how many sheep have you got? One, two, three, four. Four, Uh uh-huh. There's a yellow one, a blue one... Another, uh, that would be purple one, and a red one there, I think. Mm-hmm. There we go. But I can see it, but nobody else, nobody else can. <laughs> do you like Do you like my T-shirt, Jazzy? Do you like my T-shirt? Yeah. Yeah. What is, what's on it? Yeah. What's that? Do you it's know? It's a Batman. It's a Batman. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. That's so cool. Can you read the letters? Do you know what this letter is? B. Oh, wow. And the next one? A B. Oh, the first one is a B. What's the second one? A. Very 
good. Wow, a B and an A. And then after the A, the next one? A T. T. We've got B, A, T. And when we put them together? B, A, T. Wow. That's right. That's excellent. And what, do you know this letter here? N. Uh, it's very close to an N. It's an M. M. Like M for mummy and magic and mouse. And marvelousness. And uh, monkeys. And what's this one here? Oh, look, it's the same as this one. Yeah, there's two A's there. It's the same as that one. Oh, and this one. N. Uh, this is an N. N. And this one? What was this one again? M. M. A. N. M. A. N. M. A. N. Man. <laughs> Man, can you read that? Man. You put them together and you get. Batman! Batman. Okay, there we go. Immediately uh, <laughs> 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 embarrassing myself once again, but um, <laughs> good good reading skills. Want you want cheese? Cheese? Oh my gosh! I said, do we have any cheese? Uh, yeah, we do. We got cheese. Well, cheese. If we've got cheese, cheese well, maybe please. you can have some. Okay, okay, okay. Let go. <laughs> Lego. <laughs> Let go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll you launch into that rant that you were planning. Well, I think we should. What? Oh, should we? Yeah, maybe. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Look, it says we've been doing this for over an we're hour, and I, and I think that that's now more. Now you get Christmas prezzy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Prezies. It's. I told you I've got Christmas on my brain today. <laughs> it's so Festive dark. Oh, I really don't want to go there. Oh God. We went to the swimming lesson with Zora, and when it's this dark and cold and snowy, you just want to kind of fly down on the sofa and go to sleep. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Thank you for that. I will, uh, <laughs> um, and yet you have to get outside and go to the swimming lesson. Well, these things are sent to test us, aren't they? Yes. By this, by this us, I mean you, of yeah, course. Of course. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to have to remember the that us does not involve me. The non-inclusive us and we. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm famous for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Today we looked at all things... No, it's mine. Is it? I don't no. think this is very fetching. <laughs> it's it's covered in Batman light. Like. It's just not very me. <laughs> okay, it's just, it's just one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> right. So cute. So cute. Thank you very Doesn't much for tuning in. Fun. This was Practical Parenting. Today we talked quite a lot about life principles, perspectives, ideas. And um, as usual, we'll add a few notes about the topics. And if there's something special that you'd like us to talk about, oh, hello. Can you wave at yourself? Dun, 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 there we go. <laughs> if there's something special that you'd like us to talk about, we will be very happy to discuss it with you. You can leave your questions in the chat on Facebook or on YouTube where this will be mirrored later on. Uh, what else is coming up? We're still planning to do some interviews. We look forward to that. And uh, we're, we're do, did, done <laughs> for today. And okay. We've got... Okay. An we did it done with a pair of binoculars. Okay. Um, Bye, everybody. Cool. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you some other time again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi and bye. Yes. Um, yeah, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching, also on Facebook, the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching. This is a 21st century mom. And uh, there's more to come in the future. So wherever you are, have a fantastic day. And um, yeah, keep your eyes on my Facebook page because there's lots of cool stuff that's <laughs> coming up very soon. Facebook page is Graham William Henry. And oh look, see you. look, I'm going to say bye from me and bye from the unicorn. <laughs> Never enough magic unicorns. With and rainbow means. And wings. Glittery wings. And wings. And wings. Mm -hmm. There we go. Super cool. Do it done. All organized for today. 
Take care, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> I was a bit mad. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just. Just a little bit crazy. Okay. What's going on? Who wants a cheese? No. <laughs> guys, you're gonna, you're breaking you're breaking this this glass case, darling. Yes, because she's trying to get off and you're in the way. Jazzy, you have to get off. <laughs> 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 <laughs>